voice that will push push everyone and couple the voice from that. So uh, at the top you can see the two toolbars. These are like uh, most other programs. Then the main area of the window is the so called the import area where the where the report will be created and uh, the text in square brackets is a so called um, parameter which will be replaced by the actual data when the report is previewed so for example report info dot company name in the first line will be replaced by what uh, is entered into vendor as the uh, company name of the company. Likewise for the company address, telephone, tax and so on. So uh, just a special note on the invoice uh, which brings me to the next section the computer. If you see carefully, you may wonder where is the address generated on this report. So uh, the answer is in the found in the subsequent tab. You have to click on code at the very bottom of the screen, which will bring you to the code editor for this report. So uh, here you can see all the all the uh, variables in the address, but based on the patient's record, not all the fields will be present. For example, um, some patients have only building and streets. It will depend on how the patient's uh, data has been. want to rearrange the order of the building view for example we will just take this section and append it to a different one then uh, once you are done, uh, click save, but since the, when you are in the code section, there is no save function, you have to switch back to the page 1 tab, and then you click save. And once done, the report editor will inform you where the report has been saved. Note this carefully, because if you ever want to back up the report, this is the file you have to back up. Once done, click OK. So next, I will introduce the other sections of the page one tab. So on the left hand side, you can see the report events. Most of the time, you will not need to alter the report events unless you want to change the grouping of the data. For example, uh, we have one group here, which is the uh, service category and the for each invoice line item is in one uh, invoice detail group. So, so uh, this is really for advanced customization of the report as Venda comes with a reasonable default grouping. And on the right hand side we see the data and property section. Uh, here you can see the data section will be the data sources and the parameters that you can insert into the report as well as a listing of all the functions that you that is available and in the properties section you can see that there's the, the properties of the current lease and the control and you can change the Select the control by clicking the drop down list and then choosing another so called control. Every uh, control 
represents a, lo a logo or a text icon. Everything has its own is a sign and control. And below the name of the control, you will find the properties of all all the properties that apply to the control. So uh, let us take a look at what you how you can edit the controls properties. So if you want to change the presentation of the company name, for example, you can click on it right click which will bring you the edit function inside here you can directly edit the properties of the control if you, if you want to insert additional words or into the control then this is the place to add edit the text or if you want to add different functions to text this is the place so once again you can on the right hand side you can see the functions and if you want to uh, insert a function just uh, click in the appropriate folder then uh, for example if you want to insert case function, click uppercase and note that uh, the below the function box there will be a reminder of how there will be a note of how to how to how to give input to the function within the within the brackets. So uh, so we double click the function and if we want to and close the company name in uppercase just uh, cut the company name field and put it into the uppercase box in, so we have made the report info dot company name parameter uh, uh, input to the uppercase function because it's enclosed in square uh, in the rounded brackets if we wanted to add another input then you will have columns, commas and so on but this function has only one input so once done click OK and then uh, save the report to confirm your changes so after that just uh, you will need to generate a own invoice uh, or preview with an actual invoice so let's search for invoices. So you can see uh we have made the demo clinic into the company name into uppercase and make alterations to the address field. So that is all for this uh, 